I'd probably make it longer than this just because uh, I would want it to have a little more surface area. But we're not going to build this kind of kite. We're going to make a kite where this bow is actually the le leading edge of the kite, or most of it anyway. So one of the things we want to determine is where we want the nose to change shape uh, from being a straight line from here to wherever we determine. Let's just say that we want this nose. Let's create the nose length right now. And that generally is between oh, 2 and 4 inches. I'm going to make this uh, 2 and 3 quarters inches long on this one. Put a mark up there. That's the nose of this kite. Now, where along the bow do I want this to meet it on a straight line to be the nose? Well, I can just sort of move my uh, square around here until it looks about right to me. It's not too critical. But I think from here I'll just go uh, four inches looks like uh, it's pretty good right about here put a mark there and I'll do the same on the other side. Come up here until I hit four inches, line this up so it's square, hit four inches there, put a mark there. Now to create the nose area I draw a line between the nose that I made, the nose mark on the spine, and these uh, marks I made on the bow. So this is our nose area. And this is the rest of our leading edge. Now, how, what is the distance here is what we want to know from the nose to the wingtip line. In this case, it's about 8 and 3 quarters inches. Well, generally, kites are relatively square, but most of the time, they're longer in the tail section from the wingtip line than they are to the nose by about an inch or so. So I'm going to make this, in this case, nine and a half inches to the tail. This is the tail. So now I'm going to draw a line from my wingtip line. I'm going to take my photo corner off. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to wingtip line to the tail. And draw a line here. That's my trailing edge. And I'll do the same on this side. Now I make a full size template because I like to cut out the full size of the kite all at one time. But if you prefer to make a half template, when you're finished making this full one, just cut it right along the spine line and you'll have two one half templates for your kite. So now we have basically the kite. This is for a previous one, which we're not going to use. But we will need a hem along this part of the bow. So I usually just sort of freehand it, about like that. And I think this would probably extend to here. And so that pretty well gives us a, a kite. Cut this out. We know a 24 inch bow is going to work well, but my photo corners. Now what I'm going to do here is make a mark right there that I'm going to put a, a hole or a notch of some sort that allows me to mark through this cardboard template onto my skin material to identify where that point is that my uh, photo corner needs to be. And I'll put a hem on this side too. I'll just sort of freehand it in here. You could be very exact if you wanted. And you can now, you can draw however many of any battens you want. I usually put two battens on each side. And often there, see this is about almost 14 inches in its length along the trailing edge. And divide that into about thirds and that's about where you want the two different uh, points. And I usually aim them either towards the nose 
from the trailing edge to the nose or trailing edge to the point where the bow and the spine cross. And I draw them right up to the uh, wingtip line because they can be longer than that. They can be as long as you want them, really. It, uh, it's totally up to you. But quite often, having the uh, battens so that they are below the wingtip line means that the weight distribution, you'll have a little more weight down here, and often you, you will want that in balancing the kite. Now when you make this kite, you're going to probably put some tape right along this leading edge of the nose. And go, you know, under the, do it before you put the bow on. Just put tape here. And uh, that'll reinforce that edge. And that's basically how you draw and design a fighter kite. It's really very simple and uh, not too much math. So I hope this is helpful for you and that you design kites and build them and experiment with them and have a lot of fun with them.